Hello everybody, this is Edward West with Reaper 3D. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Mantis 3D printer from a company called Verde Mantis out of Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, we'll just do the unboxing today. I'll go through what all they send with you and how well it's packed and uh, you know, that's what we'll do. So it seems to be taped up pretty good here. Don't mind my cats in the background, they're fighting. paper in here, some corner foam which is good. This printer comes pretty much all the way uh, put together. Uh, there are, from what they say, there are just a couple of small things that you have to put together on it before you can get started. Uh, quick startup guide. Connect the Bowden tube, load filament, plug-in power supply, connector, printer to the Wi-Fi. Now this this has a built-in Wi-Fi to it, so you do not need your own Wi-Fi signal, which is really good because out here where I'm at, Wi-Fi is very hard to find. So basically I can hook my computer up to it and directly and not have to worry about outside Wi-Fi signal. paper. As you can tell, they, uh, for their long trip from Pennsylvania to Texas, they wanted to make sure that this thing is secure. It's also wrapped in plastic, which is a good thing. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Set that over there so the cats can play in it. There we go. Now, one of the things that, that got me interested in uh, checking this printer out is it has a function where, which we'll, I'll go over in another video. It has a function where you basically find a file on Thingiverse. You can do it from your phone or for, from a computer. You find that file and you send it directly to this printer. There's no setup, there's no settings. It's got its own um, settings that they run. So you can just hit print and go. Now that's good for, let's say my 13 year old children that aren't very knowledgeable in 3D printing, that's perfect. They can just hook it up to their phone, you know, send a file over there, and it prints. Um, now me, I like to get in there and play around with settings and do some really good stuff. So I'm also going to be testing whether it will work for, you know, just first-time printers, and also if it will work for people that's been printing for a long time that likes to, you know, get under the hood and tinker with the, the settings. Okay, on to the unboxing. Uh, there we go. What we have here? Got the power supply. Looks to be packed really well. We got this is the 
filament spool holder that it comes with. It also comes with a drip bucket, which goes right in here. It does have a tool case with some tools in it, which is pretty cool. Um, they 3D printed the tool case. A couple of screwdrivers, a couple of Allen wrenches. A small spatula with a wood handle. Oh, what do we have here? Overture PLA. Now, normally printer companies will send you some cheap uh, PLA, but Overture is a, a pretty decent brand. Um, I've run them a couple of times. Not too bad. Uh, just have to make sure you dry your filament. Um, but yeah, they normally send cheap, nasty filament. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's it's pretty horrendous. But Overture is pretty good. Um, that means they're definitely taking pride in their product if they're sending expensive rolls of filament with their printers. Let's see what else. Oh, we got an extra build tech plate in here and it's already it already has one already attached to the bed um, so first you know first glance unboxing it looks really well put together uh, the parts are 3d printed inside here so your fan your fan shroud um, everything is 3d printed seems to be pretty well put together and I will have another video coming soon of me testing out the functions on it. I just wanted to do the unboxing of this one first. Um, and it looks well put together. It's pretty sturdy. It's made out of, uh, I want to say sheet metal. It doesn't look like aluminum, but it's got this pretty cool green paint job on it. Uh, green's my favorite color, so that works out good for me. Uh, but yeah, that, that's it. That's the Mantis 3D printer from Verde Mantis. Stay tuned for another video.